More reporters than I've ever seen before, more cameras than I've ever seen before, round the corners more fans than I've ever seen before. Uh, the guys have just gone in, there's Brass, Kylie, Jason, they've all popped inside now. So with a bit of luck, we may be able to at least catch up with them for a few seconds uh, before they start uh, exercising their vocal cords. <laughs> going on about um, you know, re-releasing the band out records. I thought um, it had sort of served its purpose. Um, the only way that it could be valid at all would be to make it contemporary for a new generation. The problem is the same, the song is the same, it's the same time of year. Um, the only thing that's changed perhaps is that the faces in English pop music have changed. He called me on Friday, he said, look, you know, I'm getting really uh, push to release Band-Aid again, and I don't think it's right, it's not relevant to today's artists, you know. Um, and if anybody could do it, it, it's you guys, by putting, you know, all your artists on, and would you do it? And I, obviously, we just, we just said yes. We started at five this morning, and we'll be working through till about four tomorrow morning. Um, and Pete Hammond, our mixing engineer, starts at seven o'clock. We get some sleep and come back. Hopefully, we'll finish the record and have it mixed by about 12.30. And what we're hoping is that we can actually get into the stores for a week Monday. Enough copies to quench the thirst of the first, say, 50,000. By the end of the week, got another 50,000. That's enough to give us the number one for Christmas. Well, I hope you get it. It's playing in the background now. They're back down there, so the best of luck. Thank, Thank you very much, much indeed. Now. I just feel really proud of him because he's like, I love him, do you know what I mean? But apart from, apart from my brother, I think the whole event this time is just, I think for me, because I watched it really last time, I just love being here, do you know what I mean? I just love being part of it. There's no egos, there's nothing. It's just a good, good, good time. What bit have you got to do? What are your bits? Well, um, do you remember that bit tonight? Thank God it's them instead. I've sung that bit, so hopefully I've got that bit. How are, you, how are you feeling now? I mean, have you done your bit? Yep. Right, you've yep. done your bit. Are you happy with it? Yeah, I am. I, it's, I mean, obviously, we're doing it very quickly, um, and there's a reason behind that. Well, I mean, that's the way the guys sort of work anyway, but mm. uh, um, it sounds great. It must I mean, be. It really I mean, sounds this, amazing. This is a bit, a bit odd to, to rush in and do something quickly rather than, you know, being able to Bare spend time. a bit of time thinking about it. Yeah, although, I mean, that's sort of the way the guys work anyway, so in that sort of sense, I'm quite used to it. I think what's probably weird for me is that, like, in 1984, I was at school when um, that record was out, and I sort of felt quite a buzz, you know, and the, the whole Live Aid, the Band Aid sort of thing was, was really quite inspiring. Mm. And then to suddenly come back in 1989 <laughs> and to actually someone said to me would you like to be on it and you go wow you know exciting the press I can't <laughs> believe this <laughs> I sort of got into this place and I don't know my I started to like shake you never actually realize until you're confronted by an audience or you're confronted by a, a press or you're confronted by cameras or whatever right. the extent to which your work has influence on other people and that'll be the phone did you get that phone yeah excuse yeah. me um, yes? No, he's busy at the moment. Nicky? No, not here at the moment. Would you like to talk to Jason? Bob, how are you? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. I, I don't want to do it. No, it's fine. Okay, bye. 
<laughs> with someone on yeah, the it's end just of Bob Gillen. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to do live, eh? Oh, my God. We've Go only got a couple of minutes. Yeah. If we all actually said, oh, no, what's the point? Because the temptation is to say, what's the point? We cannot change the world. But, you know, a great quote which might help you understand this. I heard someone say this once, and I thought, isn't that fabulous? One man cannot change the world, but you can change the world for one man. And I think to myself, that's all that matters, you know. If one person's life is made easier because of all of this, only one, who cares about counting? It's worth it, it's absolutely worth it. If they're getting too heavy and too topical, it shouldn't be us that should be doing it, it should be a government that should become more involved in it. And if it takes pop stars to give them, for them to start to understand, to have a conscious thing, great. I said this before, it's like, it's like your motives, you know, I think, that, that speak volumes and all you're trying to do is make people aware of the problem. I mean, I don't think you can change the world, you know, but I think you can probably make people aware. And just take it for what it is. Don't say, oh, I'm not going to buy it because it's blah, blah, blah and blah, blah, blah. Just put your hand in your pocket, let's see your money because that's what it's all about. We bit our lip, may you bite your lip and put your hand in your pocket and that's what it's all about. Uh, well, I just think it's, it's really important that people don't look at the newspapers and see the, the thing about Ethiopia and think, oh my God, I'll turn over. You know, you've, you've got to think, oh my God, I should read this because I want to find out what it's all about. Definitely. Good. All right. Lisa, thank you very much indeed. Thanks very much indeed, Tim. We're actually going to get out now because this is the artist's waiting room, they said. There's a little sign on the door that says, no TV crews. <laughs> we're not supposed to be no in presenters. here. <laughs> no presenters. We're not supposed to be much. in here and we're about to get found out. So I'm going to go. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. It's pretty true to the original, but it's also it's, it's modified, it's updated. And it's, I mean, they're not putting out a record because they know people are going to buy it. Still a really great record. It will be. I have fun. There you have it, the finished product. You've got to get into the shops pretty quickly. That's my day at PWL. And of course, as far as the single is concerned, its success depends on you. Band-Aid mm. happening once again. Uh, you'll have to keep an eye on the charts tomorrow to see how it's done. And of course, it's all for an incredibly good cause. So uh, dip your hand in your pocket and go and buy the record. Yes, in fact, buy lots of records. Yes. Lots of records and give them to people. Give them presents. To, give them to your friends as Christmas presents. That's the best thing. The atmosphere there looked extraordinary. It was amazing. It really was. Um, it, I, I don't. I didn't go to the first one. Obviously, I don't know what it was like mm. at the first one. But but that was a, a fabulous effort. And as Wet, Wet Wet said, you know, a lot of people sort of bit their lip. I mean, Wet 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 at PWL, they wouldn't normally go in there. That's right. That's right. You forget all those things and just go for it. Mm. Which is